Hi guys, it's Sunday and it's Father's Day. So just in case there's any dads out there watching, happy Father's Day. Today I wanna do a video about the materials I weave with and where I get all of my material from. A lot of people ask me where you know, things come from, do I go to the thrift store, you know, do I go to Joann's and buy fabric, what, you know, what do I do? But this right here on the table is all the recent fabric I've gotten. And as you can see, it's a lot of stuff. So I never run out of product. And then over here is the yarn that I've gotten recently and my bags and we'll go through and take a look at all this. First up we've got a pile of blue jeans here and a lot of these are from my family and then there's a few people that have given them to me to use when their jeans have worn out so as you can see I've got a nice supply I need to get all these cut up they've been washed and now I need to get them cut up. I want to make a blue jean rug. This is a sheet. Um, I think it is one of my granddaughter's old sheets from her crib. And my daughter gave this to me. So you can see it's got the elastic. So I'll have to clean that up and cut that into strips. So that's nice to get. This stack is a pretty good size pile of this really nice kind of heavy duty thick fabric it's kind of soft and fuzzy and there is a lot of it and I've also got that washed up and ready that came from an estate sale and some of my boyfriend's family when they go to estate sales and they see stuff they pick it up and bring it for me and it's great so they brought me this and then they also found this at a sale and it's this giant bolt of cotton fabric and I love the colors of it so I need to cut that down into smaller pieces and I'll get it washed up and I might do a crochet rug out of that and I'm sure there'll be plenty to make several things out of it but that's nice. My daughter's birthday is coming up here soon and I've had this for a while. It is her scrubs from nursing school so these are the pants and the tops that she had to wear and she gave them to me quite a while back and I promised to make her what I call a memory rug out of them so I'm going to do that for her birthday. So if she's watching this, she'll know I'm getting ready to start it finally. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I'll cut all this up into strips. I'll wash them up. And then at the end, I'll probably take one of her little patches off of her tops and sew that on so that she has that with the rug as well. So that'll probably be my next video um, that I'll post. So we'll do that on the next video then. Next, I have these curtain panels that were given to me, and there's two panels each, and they're nice colors together because she had those together hanging up on one of her doors. So I got those washed up. You know, that's a lot of fabric. I'll definitely make a rug out of those two colors together because they look really nice together. So there's that. The last of the fabric is this kind of random pile that I have here. Um, my mom gave me this stuff. These are a set of pillowcases and some really pretty pink colors. Some nice flowers. And then she also gave me a pink tablecloth and these are the napkins that go with it. I stole the tablecloth because pink is one of my granddaughter's favorite colors and we have a art table in there in her room and I'm gonna put that in there for her, she'll love it. 
And then this is just kind of random material, things that people started to sew and didn't finish. But I can use the material out of it. So that's a little bit of fabric. Those will work good in my multicolor rugs. So this is all the fabric that I've got to start working on now. And like I said, when people know that you do this sort of thing, they think of you when they've got stuff that they want to get rid of. Instead of taking it to the thrift store, they bring it to me. So that helps out a lot when I sell my rugs to keep the prices down. All right, we'll move on now to the yarn and the bags. This here is the Lion Suede Prince. And this stuff feels awesome. And the package says it is 100% polyester. So that's really nice. And then it's also in this color. Lots and lots of this. So those two I will be using to make a runner. And we'll do a video on that, I'm sure. And then there is this. And I am not even going to try and pronounce that with my Kentucky accent. I'll save you that. And then we have this, which is called Patton's Bohemian. So it's super pretty, super soft. And there's one of these and then three in this more brown color. So those are great. And then there are one, two, three, four of these. And those are some nice, pretty colors. That's like the variegated yarn, so that'll change colors as you crochet it and weave it. And then this is the same brand. And two of these in this pretty color, teal color. So I have all this yarn to crochet and weave. So we'll definitely be doing some videos with that. And here is the last thing I have to show you. This is the bags that I have from the last couple of weeks. My parents saved these for me. And when I set up at the farmer's market, a lot of the customers would bring me bags that they've saved. So these are all the brown, the white, and the grays. <clears throat> and there's one up here. It's got some color to it, so I'll add that to the color pile. The colored bags are hard to come by, so it takes a while to get enough to make a rug. But I'll get those all cut up and looped together. Okay, so as you can see, I have acquired quite a bit of material to weave with in the last month or so. And I hope that helps answer some of the questions about where all of my material comes from. It is mostly all recycled material in one way or another. And this is how I keep going is everybody gives me stuff. So here's all the yarn again. And I will see you guys next time. The next video will make my daughter's memory rug. I'll show you how I do that. And you guys have a great week. Bye. Here are some pictures of a rug that I crocheted this week. I made this rug with four different sheets.